if you're not expressing that low vibration energy, then all you basically are is a closeted heterosexual. You're putting your sexuality in the closet, you know, just for no one to see. Hey, what's going on guys? Dale Valor here from Modern Valor Dating. Today we're dropping a new video in our series on the Masters of Game. And the person that we're gonna be talking about this week is none other than Zan Perion. All right, if you're not familiar with Zan, he's been involved in the community for many, many, many years and predates many of the guys that you've heard of. And he, you know, he's uh, he's just been around a long time, man. And uh, I really like his story. I like where he came from. I like what he's uh, created for himself. Uh, he's an author of a book called The Alabaster Girl. And uh, I, I like it. I think it's a good read. Um, and yeah, so we're going to talk about some of the things that I learned from Zan Perion. And uh, we're going to hop into that right now. Let's go. Number one, the first thing that I took away from Zan Perion was not being afraid to express your sexuality. See, oftentimes, guys, you know, when they get out and, and, and start conversing with women and things like that, they are afraid to express their sexuality because they're afraid that the woman's going to be upset over this or that she's, you know, going to be turned off or that you're coming on too strong or whatever the case might be. But one thing that uh, Zan puts out there is you can't be afraid to express your sexuality because if you do, she's not going to see you as sexual. All right. And that's obviously very important. She has to see that side of you. And you know what? The thing is, is like... I, Look, everybody's human, right? That's part of humanity. That's part of you being a man. It's being able to express that side of yourself and not being afraid to do so. Now, does that mean that you know that you're 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 crass and you're you know way over the top and and grabby and things like that? No, of course that's not it. But at the same time, not being uh, afraid to express that side of yourself is hugely beneficial. You know, it's a thing of calibration. You gotta know when to do it, how to do it, all that kind of thing. But not being afraid of it is the first step. All right, we're gonna hop into number two, let's go. The second thing that I took away from Zan was the idea and the definition of high vibration and low vibration. We did a video on this a while back where I went a little bit deeper than what I'm about to do now. If you want to check that out, you can. It's in our library of videos. Go take a look at it. But the thing with this is, you know, when we're talking about high vibration energy, we're talking about... Uh, you know, like those charming, friendly type of vibes, those, um, you know, kind of happy and, and friendly and just all that kind of stuff, you know, where if you do that and only that with a girl, what's going to happen? You're going to be put in the friend zone. Now, low vibration energy is that sexual energy that we talked about in the first point. All right. So with the sexual energy, that is all that low vibration, all that desire, that passion, that want, that need, all that that you're trying to express. OK, now, if you have just that, then you're coming across like a, uh, a construction worker on a construction site, just hollering at the girl that's walking by, you know, like it's just low vibration energy and she's likely to be repulsed for the most part. So the idea being is you want to couple both of those at the same time, not one without the other. You want to have them both operating in that duality together all right um one of the things that i like that he says in this context is that if you're not expressing if you're not expressing that low vibration energy then all you basically are is a closeted heterosexual you're putting your sexuality in the closet you know just for no one to see all right so all right we're gonna hop into the next one let's get it 
Number three, the third thing that I took away from Zan is the admiration of feminine energy. All right. Now, you know, you're going to see a lot of coaches and a lot of uh, a lot of guys out here that are, you know, experts in their field and everything uh, talking about how like that's quote unquote simp behavior in really admiring anything that has to do with a girl outside of her sleeping with you. Well, I don't really get down with that particular vantage point. Um, I don't think that, uh, I don't know, you know, I just, I just don't, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit. And the thing is, it's not about putting her on a pedestal. It's not about, you know, just like, oh, I just adore her so much, this angelic being or anything like that. It's the energy that the feminine brings that's inspiring, right? You know, like, you know, it, it, it's an old adage, you know, like, you know, uh, women starting wars because guys want to be with them so they start a war to like prove their uh their manliness or whatever or like it, like almost every great feat is done so a guy can get admiration from a woman you know that's that inspiring feminine energy now am i suggesting you go out and do big uh grandiose uh uh, you know, things to, to try to get that attention? No, of course not. And that's in large part why you're here on this channel learning games so you don't have to do those types of things. But to respect and admire the feminine energy, I think is, uh, is, is really important. And I think it's healthy, you know? So, all right, we're gonna get into the last one. Let's go. Number four, make your life an adventure. You know, when I look at the template of his life, it's a, quite an amazing story story. Uh, I can't remember everything verbatim and all that, but you know, th this guy, I believe basically raised himself in Northern Canada and like worked on like, a, I don't know, a fishing boat or something and, and got to the United States and like, you know, all, all this stuff and was like a bear trapper or something. I don't know. Like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, guys, if you know about more about it than I do, and I'm saying something that's totally off base, I reserve the right to be correct corrected all right but I know that he had just a, an amazing he has an amazing story you know to get to where he is now uh, I know he lived in South America I believe for an extended period of time I know he lives in Europe now I think in like Romania or, or something like that and you know he, he's just traveled the world and he's made his life an adventure and I know that he models his lifestyle after Casanova and trying to be a modern day Casanova and just like all those adventures and all that kind of stuff and I know that plays a big part into uh, who he is and using him as a, as a template to uh, you know have a life of adventure so I think that that's really cool and I think that that's something that we could all embody a little bit more is just having that thrill-seeking, adventurous side of us come out a little bit more often than we do, you know? So listen, guys, if you like the video, if you got value out of it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell as well as every Friday, come back, check out the next video in the Masters of the Game series that we'll be doing as we drop them every Friday. So until then, Dale Valor, Modern Valor Dating, salute.